One of top American jokes, why did the math book look so sad? Because it had too many problems. Mathematics is a subject that has a reputation for being challenging and intimidating for many students. Whether it's solving equations, understanding complex theorems or dealing with numbers, math can often feel overwhelming. One aspect of math that can contribute to this feeling is the abundance of problems in textbooks. In this blog post, we will explore why math books can appear sad due to the sheer number of problems they contain. Overwhelming nature of math problems. Math problems are the backbone of any math textbook. They serve as a way for students to practice and apply their knowledge of mathematical concepts. However, when there are too many problems, it can make the book seem daunting and unapproachable. Lack of variety. One issue that arises when a math book has an excessive number of problems is the lack of variety. Students may find themselves solving similar problems over and over again, which can lead to boredom and disengagement. This repetition can make the learning process monotonous and hinder the development of critical thinking skills. Time constraints. Another problem with an abundance of math problems is the time constraints it places on students. Math is a subject that requires careful thinking and problem-solving skills. When faced with numerous problems to solve, students may feel rushed and unable to give each problem the attention it deserves. This can lead to mistakes and a lack of understanding of the underlying concepts. The emotional impact. Aside from the practical challenges, the abundance of math problems can also have an emotional impact on students. The sad appearance of a math book is a metaphor for the frustration and stress that can arise when faced with an overwhelming number of problems. Feelings of inadequacy. When students encounter a math book filled with problems, they may feel overwhelmed and inadequate. The sheer volume of problems can make them question their abilities and doubt their potential for success. This can lead to a negative mindset, which further hampers their ability to learn and excel in mathematics. Increased anxiety. The presence of too many problems can also contribute to increased anxiety levels in students. The fear of not being able to complete all the problems or perform well on assessments can lead to heightened stress. This anxiety can be detrimental to a student's overall well-being and hinder their ability to learn effectively. Strategies to overcome the problem. While it may seem like an insurmountable challenge, there are several strategies that students can employ to overcome the overwhelming nature of math problems in textbooks. Prioritize and plan. One effective approach is to prioritize and plan the problems you will tackle. Identify the most important problems or those that align with your learning goals, and focus on those first. By creating a structured plan, you can break down the workload and approach it in a more manageable way. Seek help and collaboration. Don't be afraid to seek help or collaborate with others. Form study groups, join online forums, or ask your teacher for guidance. Practice active learning. Instead of mindlessly solving problem after problem, practice active learning techniques. Engage with the material by asking questions, seeking alternative methods of solving problems, and connecting concepts to real-life examples. This approach can make the learning process more enjoyable and enhance your understanding of mathematical concepts. Take breaks and manage time. Remember to take regular breaks and manage your time effectively. Break down your study sessions into manageable chunks and include short breaks in between. This will help prevent burnout and allow your brain to process the information more effectively. Discussing problems with peers can provide a fresh perspective and help alleviate some of the associated with tackling math problems alone. Conclusion. While the abundance of math problems in textbooks can make them appear sad, it's important to remember that with the right strategies and mindset, this overwhelming feeling can be overcome. By prioritizing, seeking help, practicing active learning, and managing time effectively, Students can tackle math problems with confidence and ultimately find joy in the subject. So, let's not let the sad appearance of a math book discourage us, but rather see it as an opportunity for growth and learning.